Inventors want to save lives with their inventions. A former firefighter believes he's come up with a new way to fight fire. No hands! But after 16 years... We've spent over $50,000. Wow. Is his dream about to go up in flames? We have to go from left to right. I feel limited just going up and down. That's all. I'm in Lexington, South Carolina with Ken Blocker. He's a former firefighter, and I'm here to check out his invention called the Aqua Blaster. Operating a pressurized fire hose safely can take as many as three fully trained firefighters. And even then, you're always at risk for sprains, strains, and muscle injuries. And that can lead to lost man hours and expensive workers' comp claims. If Ken's invention really does make it easier and safer for firefighters to handle a hose, then I think the 30,000 fire departments across the U.S. could all be potential buyers. Hello, hello. Hello, hey, good morning. Hey, this is Glenn, hey, Glenn George, George, nice George, to meet you. and this is Tim. Hey, George. hey Tim, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. So you guys are going to try your hand the firefighting this morning. Yes, sir. Let's get her going. Before I try the Aqua Blaster, I need to see how hard it is to handle a fully pressurized hose without it. Whoa, Jesus. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my God, this is like uh, tough on the arms. I can totally feel how after half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour of fighting a fire, you'd be exhausted. So you got a brand new appreciation for firefighters. I did, now, don't I you? really did. I think now we should try the Aqua Blaster, right? Okay. So at its heart, the Aqua Blaster is basically a hose harness. It takes the strain of fighting all that water pressure off your hands, your wrists, and your arms, and it moves it onto your body's bigger muscles, your core, your shoulders, your legs. Now the fire hose itself attaches at your hip, and the water gets routed to a standard nozzle, which can pivot up and down, or can be locked into place. In theory, this helps firefighters operate a hose easily and safely. Tim? Yes, sir. I think I'm good on this one. All right. See how I do without any help. Go for it. Okay. Are we ready for water? Yes, sir. Ready. There you go, Foot. Woo! Yeah, move around and dance with it a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to lock it in. You feel like a daredevil today? No there hands. you go. <laughs> this is great. This is really easy. Thank you, sir. What do you think? <laughs> it's so simple. My arms don't hurt, first of all. It was just very easy to use. You've done something good, sir. Thank you, thank you, I like thank it. You. I mean, the only things that I would think of improving mm -hmm. are make it a bit lighter, mm -hmm. it is a bit heavy, mm -hmm. make it maybe a bit adjustable, and then some sort of quick release, you know, in, right. case, in case you need it. Right. But so, other than that, man, I think it's great. This already seems like a winner, but I need to figure out what's been holding him back and how I can help. You must be in Nevada, I'm George. I'm nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. So how long have you been working on this thing? I've been at this endeavor a little over 16 years. Really? It's a long time. <laughs> 16 years of building prototype after prototype after prototype. And sometimes he would take things to the machine shop and not find out how much they're going to charge. Before you asked them to do it, you just said, hey, do this and yes. send me the bill later? It's yes. the curse of a dreamer, oh, man. man. So you must know more or less how much you guys have spent on all the prototypes and all the designing and all the work so far, right? I know we've spent well over $50,000. Wow. I would say closer to 100. Just the consulting company alone was over $25,000. The consulting company really was a sham and ain't got nothing. Nothing happened. I hear this story all the time. Inventors who need help go to consulting firms who will take your money even if they think your idea is terrible. And in theory, these firms will help you with marketing, design, patents, but usually what happens is you end up paying them a lot of money and getting not very much in return. I mean, so there's been a lot of money spent. We lost a home. We lost a house. Yes. I was so gun ho that I carelessly made some decisions and other people had to suffer because of that. I've had many of those moments where I thought, maybe it's time to throw in the towel. We've been married 26 years. It really took a toll on us. We separated for about three months. It was the lowest point in my life. So is this the final prototype after she said no more prototypes? Yeah, because I think if I build another one, no, she'll be a widow. <laughs> <laughs>
Sounds about right. Okay, well, that's where we come in. That's where we help you out. We're going to build another one for you. So now we need to talk about how you're going to make this into a business. Let's go. <laughs> So let's just start with how much do you plan to sell the Alcoblaster for? I think we estimate it somewhere about $900. $900. And what's that based on? I'm just kind of just figuring. Um, kind of made it up? Yeah, it made it up. How many Aquablasters do you plan to sell? We're talking about astronomical numbers, especially when you're talking about globally where fire hoses are used all over the world. And do you have a very specific number or just... Just basically just looking at, at the industries. Uh, okay, I like Ken, I like his invention, but when someone asks you what your first year sales figures are gonna be, you can't just say astronomical, and you definitely can't pull a price point out of your fire hose. Ken needs to do some math right now, otherwise his dreams are going up in smoke. We're estimating, because we don't really know how many we would sell, and of course, the larger the quantity, yep. the lower the price. Right. If I'm remembering, you know numbers, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I am retired from the Central Midlands Council of Governments as a finance director. I've prepared financials day in, day out. I think you guys should have a serious conversation about what the business looks like, not just with you running it, but with both of you running it. You need some convincing, right? Oh, I am somewhat reluctant to help because this is Ken's baby and I felt like he wasn't hearing me spending money on prototypes. 16 years of blood, sweat and tears. You're not going to sit back and let someone else take that job, right? Nevetta has spent the past 16 years living on the edge of financial ruin and even marital ruin all because of the Aqua Blaster. So I get it. She's the last person who'd want to take this on. Thing is, Ken needs her, so I hope he gets her on board. Furthermore, we want this to click at the different locations, so there's no guessing. It's like boom, boom, boom. Okay, well, that seems pretty straightforward. So is it... Hey, George. This is George, oh awkwardly appearing. Yes, we're going to stand back, <laughs> with if that's okay. Something I'm not going to put my hand on. <laughs> this is the Aqua Blaster. This is a harness system that makes firefighting more efficient and prevents firefighter injury. Not unsimilar to yours, my invention. It's this great idea, and in theory, I feel like everyone should use it. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if a hospital is actually going to pay for it. Right, so she has to do the same thing that my inventor has to do, which is prove that there's a market. Exactly. So, do you always operate that with two hands? No, sometimes one-handed. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. All right, well, I'm going to let you guys have fun with that. All right. So, George, why have you uh, brought your big hose in here today? Yes, here are the problems. So, one, it's really heavy. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, it's made entirely out of steel. What this is designed to do is hold the nozzle in place, but to release it, you have to unscrew it, right? And then screw it back in again, which is a real pain in the butt when you're fighting a fire. The next thing is that this doesn't look professional in the least bit. Okay. And then the other thing is you cannot get out of it quickly. Okay. So some sort of quick release system would be great. Okay. Martin wants to wear it. Yeah, I've worn it long enough. Why don't you? Love to wear it. Why don't you put that thing on there, Martin? Why don't you feel the power? Yeah. There you go. Seeing you wear it, I now understand all the jokes. Yeah. Yeah. It all it all makes sense from this angle, right? The Bluefish team has been working on the Aqua Blaster for the past couple weeks, and they've made some real improvements, which I think Ken and Nevada are going to love. Today, they're here to check it out for themselves. This is it. After 16 years, are you guys ready? to see what Bluefish has done. Oh, I'm excited as a rat in a cheese factory, man. <laughs> <laughs> so when I started this thing, I was dumb as a box of rocks. I was just a guy that believed that I had a great idea. So this opportunity is the best that I've had at this point. Whoa! It was like something they would be fighting fires in Star Wars or something, <laughs> man. I mean, the prototype we saw was just bent aluminum. There was no way to adjust it. The Aqua Blaster has come a long way. The rigid aluminum shoulder frame is gone. We've replaced it with adjustable nylon straps. And with the new plastic chest plate, the whole rig is now significantly lighter. And the hose locking mechanism is more user friendly. And the quick release is a handle. You pull it out, and then the entire unit releases from the chest harness. Wow, you just put the icing on the cake, didn't you? 
high 10. <laughs> high five's not good enough, man. High, high 10, man. God, you guys are awesome. To me, that was perfection. I'm just in love with this moment right now. This probably saved our marriage. <laughs> no more prototypes. It it's pretty much an intervention for us. I guess you could say it's been the bane of my existence. <laughs> Until now, the Aqua Blaster has not actually been tested on a real fire. We've come this far, and now we're going to take it all the way. Wow. If it works as good as it looks, then I'm in good shape. Should we go do this? Yeah, let's do yes, it. Man. Grab a piece. Let's go. Let's go. Today's a huge day for Ken and Nevada. Here we go. We are at the Rio Hondo Fire Academy, putting the Aqua Blaster in the hands of actual firefighters for the first time ever. All right, well, why don't we burn stuff? Woo, we have fire. The water pressure in an active fire hose can get as high as 300 pounds per square inch, and it can take up to three firefighters to handle that hose. Injuries are inevitable. So there's not only the human costs, there's also insurance costs as well. Shut down. Okay, let's have them try it out. Okay. It's taken 16 years to actually see the Aqua Blaster put out a real fire. It's firm on you? Yeah. Okay. Man, I'm bubbling up all inside. Light it up. Let's do this. Fire in the hole! All right, are you ready? Looks like it's working very well. It doesn't look like you've had any issues with it at all. So far, so good. The Aqua Blaster is holding the hose in place so Mark can keep his hands free. How did that feel? I thought, man, I'm, I might have a trip hazard, but it feels the same as if I have the hose next to my hip, so that wasn't an issue. But the other issue I did find is if it go from left to right, I feel almost limited just going up and down. So who else wants to try it? In a fire, anything can happen at any time, so our quick release needs to work perfectly. I was able to use both hands to open up a door and, and to maneuver around the car, so I felt the stability with my back and my core. I felt very good. Is this a tool that you could see in a firehouse? Oh, yes. absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. The Aqua Blaster works, and we also got some good feedback. Now's the hard part. Ken needs to put together a convincing pitch with real numbers to show an investor that not only is the Aqua Blaster a good idea, it's also a good business. Going into this meeting, I'm a little concerned that Nevada may not want to take the role of CFO, but I'm going to do everything in my power to let her know how poor she is to make this happen for us. So, how are you feeling about coming on board as the CFO and doing the pitch for me? At this point, Ken is very persistent when it comes to things that he wants. I know he's a dreamer. But there were times when I felt like I played second fiddle to the Aqua Blaster. For a wife, that's a tough place to be. Where is the roadblock as far as why you think you might not be able to do it? How do we separate business from our personal lives? I don't want all our dinner conversations to be work. I think it is tough to work with your spouse. The Aqua Blaster has put a strain on our marriage. What do you think? You don't think that this can happen? I need you in this. I, um... I'll do it. I know all the blood, sweat, tears over these 16 years, and to see it all finally come together, I want to be a part of that. That's like music to my ears. Today is the day. 16 years of hard work all comes down to this pitch. Hey, George. Hey, Nevada. Great to see good you. To see you. you good, good. Good, good. So you're here, which I assume <laughs> means that you are officially the CFO of this company. I am. I'm officially on board. I'm very happy to hear that. I was hoping you'd be here, so. That's great. OK, do you want to know who your investor is? I'd like to know as much as you can tell me about him. <laughs> OK, your investor is Manny Fernandez. Manny is the CEO of DreamFunded.com, a crowdfunding platform that's invested over $100 million in startups. 
and they've invested in some very famous companies. One of them is Dropbox. Okay. Manny has brought an advisor with him, Chief Julius Cherry, a retired Sacramento, California fire chief, and he consults for the fire services industry. So he would understand the product. Exactly. That is a good surprise. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really pinching myself. After 16 years coming to this moment where I'm standing in front of an investor, it's real, but at the same time, it still feels like a dream. Hi, Hi Manny Fernandez. Cam Blocker. Hey, Cam Blocker. Hi. Nevada nice Blocker. To nice to meet you. All right, guys, take it away. My name is Ken Blocker, and I'm the inventor of the Aqua Blaster. When I was training as a firefighter, I had no idea how difficult it would be to handle a charged fire hose and nozzle. You were fighting fatigue just as much as you were fighting fires. The Aqua Blaster is a new and innovative harness system that will drastically reduce or even eliminate fatigue when you're operating a charged fire hose and nozzle. I'm Nevada Blocker. I'm the Chief Financial Officer of K-Block Tools, and I'm also Ken's wife. Ken has worked tirelessly on the Aqua Blaster, but we're at a crossroad. We're at a point where we need an investment and a partner to help us get the Aqua Blaster from concept to market. We're seeking an investment of $500,000 for 25% of our company. Would you like to see the Aqua Blaster in action? You know, you always see firefighters on TV. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three. But as you can see, you have one firefighter able to handle the hose and nozzle by itself. The Aqua Blast will basically pay for itself in the aspect that it could save millions of dollars in workers' comp claims and keeping firefighters on the fire ground. I've been working on the Aqua Blast for the past 16 years. This has been a huge sacrifice for our family. That's why we need your investment and your expertise to get the Aqua Blast to market. Why don't you guys uh, have a seat? You guys have heard the pitch. What do you think? What are your thoughts? I think it's really intriguing. You're one of the small percentage of people that'll fall through with an idea for 16 years, so I commend you. How long do you think it'll take for you to actually get people to say, I want it, I will pay you for it. Are you gonna convince fire chiefs, purchasing officers to have a budget line for this product? I was thinking about his pitch to the fire chiefs and you're gonna say, you know, chief, how much are your workers' comp costs? Um, how many sprains and strain injuries do you have on an annual basis? Now, if they're able to handle the fire in a more efficient manner than they otherwise would be because they're using an aqua blaster. Chief Cherry, you're right. In any good business, the entrepreneur has to be the person that gets the customer. It's sales. So sell me that Aqua Blaster. I'm the purchase person for, say, or an organization. Why do I need that? Well, first of all, it, um, it relieves stress. Um, Are you comfortable being in front of people? Um, it's, it's... Are you comfortable being in front of people? Um, it's, uh, it... I want to say this. I think that um, the company has the potential to make a lot of money. You, you had a potential $10 million in sales the first year. Is that right? Who came out with those numbers? I did. So what I did was I looked at how many pumper trucks are out there. I used... In the, in the entire United States? Yes. And it's 70,000. I used 10% of those pumper trucks, which is 7,000. And then with our unit price of $1,500. That's how I came up with that. Exactly. Okay. And you're comfortable with your 70,000 fire engine numbers? It's the National Fire the Protection Agency. NFPA? NFPA. And thank NFPA you. publishes that yes. number? They do. You guys wanted 500000 for 25%? That's negotiable. How'd you come up with that number? When I came up with the 500000 I was looking at advertising product development and just trying to get the first units produced. You know, I was thinking about, uh, Manny, the history of the thermal imaging camera. Every fire engine in the country or ladder truck has a thermal engine camera, and some two or three, but this can take off the way the thermal imaging camera did. Are you sure $500,000 is not too small a number? It is. You're gonna run out of money, and you're gonna be begging for more. You're giving up too much of your company too soon. Manny, would you like to make an investment in Aqua Blaster? Okay, I'll make you an offer on behalf of dreamfunded.com.
You got a deal. You, you, de <laughs> you definitely have a deal. You got a deal. Congratulations. <laughs> a million dollars. I mean, just to hear <laughs> that number. <sighs> Guys. <laughs> Just, I am, I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words. I am just so grateful for this opportunity. I don't get to say this very often, but congratulations. You're a millionaire inventor. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come here. Maybe we are a match made in heaven, no matter how much hell we had to go through. <laughs> and we did. Wow, and I just don't have words. I couldn't have done this without you. And I really love and appreciate you. Love you.